What's up guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 Season of the Arrivals video and today's I'm going to be going over an older weapon that I just recently got a pretty solid roll on. It is the Dead Orbit Viced Sniper, the Distant Tumulus. Now how to obtain a sniper is literally a random drop from the game world unfortunately. You cannot get it from the Dead Orbit vendor considering it is a Dead Orbit weapon it would make sense. But the whole faction thing is a different conversation hall in itself. Let's go over PvE. Now this thing really doesn't have any crazy good PvE rules that you can go with. I would say some of the good traits that you would look at is something like firing line, especially when you're near some allies, you're hitting some headshots, you get to do extra damage. Clown cartridge would be interesting when you reload, you get that bigger mag, especially when you pair something, um, you know, with extended mag, because then you get a really big mag size there. Uh, but unfortunately... The thing that would make this thing really good is something like Triple Chap or Force Times the Charm, and it does not have those, so plenty of other snipers do. That's why I'm going to count this one out on the PvE side of things. But for PvP, man, I mean, this thing, I actually had a very, very good time with it. I do not know what it is. Uh, I don't know whether it's because it falls under the Rapid Fire Snipers or because it's a Viced Sniper. Now... We haven't really had any Viced Snipers since year one of Destiny, where the, we had this Dead Orbit one, and then we also had two other just regular Viced Snipers you can get. Now, none of them had any crazy perks on them to make them, I would say, super effective in the Crucible versus any sniper that came with Snapshot or Quick Draw or something like that. But with this one, you do have the option of Snapshot and Quick Draw in the second trait column. Now, in my role, uh, I actually have Snapshot on this one. I would like to have one with Quick Draw because I definitely like how... Uh, quick draw feels in general but this is kind of go for the perk pool that we have here barrel wise i would say it doesn't matter um but i think a lot of people opt for range so you can actually have more accuracy at a longer range so go with the barrel that gives you the longest range when you get your roll uh magazine wise again i think you want you want to opt for range there with accurized rounds so you want to be more consistent uh, i would say something like a pendant mag wouldn't be bad because you get a bigger mag size steady rounds wouldn't be horrible you do lose a little bit of range uh something like tactical mag or flared mag well not horrible again. And trait column number one here. Uh, we don't have anything crazy for uh, on the PvP side of things other than uh, Pulse Monitor, which if you're weak and you... Uh, uh, basically, if you get hurt, your magazine uh, automatically gets reloaded, which is nice. Uh, clown Cartridge wouldn't be too bad either because if you just reload and you get a couple extra bullets, that's good for PvP as well. Like, hey, just got some got some free shots in here. So, And then obviously trait column number two, as I mentioned, you do have the option of Quick Draw or Snapshot. Either one of those is perfectly fine i would say if you're rocking a build that gives you you know high handling um especially on the warlock if you have something like ophidian aspect or if you're doing something on a hunter like uh, the dragon shadow and you get that increased handling you might not need quick draw um but i know snapshot is always probably one of the best sniper perks in the game Again, I really don't know what it is about this weapon, because rapid fire snipers are not the best. Obviously, the top snipers in the game currently are Revoker, and then probably number two is Beloved. Number three is probably, oh, the Trial Sniper, the Eye of Soul. Pretty sure that's what that's called. Um, but I don't know what it is about the sniper. It just feels really good. It feels really snappy. You can hit those follow-up shots very, very easily. It doesn't have a crazy ton of recoil. That's why you're able to, you know, two body shot people. Uh, unfortunately, if they have, like, I think it's above, like, seven or eight armor, you have to hit them with three body shots. So that does kind of stink. The other thing that stings is that if someone's in a super and they have full health and you hit a headshot, it doesn't kill them, like with Revoker, unfortunately. So... You do kind of have to, you do have to have a few shots. So there are some trade-offs when it comes to the rapid fire type snipers versus the, you know, high impact snipers. But I would say the thing that does make this interesting is the scope on the vice snipers. It just feels really good. Like I was able to drag scope very easily. I was rocking the uh, attunement of sky on the warlock, so I was able to hit some, you know, in air snipes as well. And it felt very, very good in that aspect too. I don't know what it is. It might just be Vice, because Vice weapons are always solid. Look at Recluse, you know. I, that, I feel like that's a prime example. Um, but yeah, I really like the Sniper in PvP. Now, quickly just going over Gambit. Again, it does not have a lot of good PvE-style uh, roles. PvP, maybe if you wanted to be an invader and you can actually take people out with the Sniper, but I think people end up opting for, you know, Rocket, Xenophage, and, and stuff like that right now. So maybe this is not the best Gambit weapon, but I would say... Highly recommend trying it out in the Crucible for sure. All right, guys, looks like we're at the end of the video. Just want to cover three things with you. Number one, about support. If you're looking for the number one best way to support me, there's a link below that'll take you to a four-minute video that I made a while ago. If you want to go watch that, that'd be awesome. If not, it's definitely not going to hurt my feelings. You can also subscribe to the channel, like this video, share this video, follow me on social media with the links below, and 
all that great jazz. Number two, regarding social media, I have a Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, Discord, and and a few others. If you would like to keep up to date on Destiny 2 related content, be sure to use those links below to find me on those platforms. And number three, going over the clan, if you're looking to join my clan, we have some spots open uh, on all platforms. We're looking for active players and community members in the Destiny community. And typically we like to play casual PvE and PvP a majority of the time. I'm definitely all about that solo grind, but I'm willing to definitely play with people in the community, like definitely willing to do that. If you're looking to join, there's a link to the clan page on the Bungie.net site below. And all you have to do is request to join and I'll approve it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll catch you next time.